Edinburgh Castle has often been the scene of pageantry. At the end of this memorable two-day visit, the President came to take the salute at the ceremony of beating retreat, carried out by the pipes, drums and band of the 1st Battalion, the Gordon Highlanders. A fitting tribute by Scotland to the soldier president. Back in England, the President visited the factory of one of the country's leading manufacturers of diesel engines. The company's product is well known to the President. Their four-cylinder diesels are widely used on the vast Gezera scheme in the Sudan. At an agricultural and chemical research station in eastern England, the president found much to interest him. All over the world, the enemy of the farmer is the insect pest, and here chemists work to produce insecticides to protect crops. Research teams in all parts of the world cooperate with these scientists, reporting the results of the use of insecticides in all climatic conditions. In the grounds, the president saw a demonstration of methods of crop spraying. In the evening, the president drove to London's historic Guild Hall, where the Lord Mayor was waiting to receive him. The company walked in procession to the library where the president was to receive an address of welcome. Lord Mayor presented him with a text in a silver casket. In his reply, the President spoke of the warm welcome he'd received in Britain. He said, I beg to transmit to you all the salutations and blessings of the Sudanese people, coupled with the confident hope that you and we may forever remain true friends. Next day, the President visited Abingdon Royal Air Force Station. Here, the British Airborne Forces are trained, and research is done into the problems of transporting heavy freight during large-scale air movements. The President was particularly pleased to have an opportunity of speaking with a number of Sudanese cadets and airmen training at the station. In the evening, at London's Dorchester Hotel, guests were arriving for a banquet to be given by the President for Queen Elizabeth. The Prime Minister and Lady Douglas Hume. Princess Marina, Duchess of Kent. Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. When Her Majesty the Queen arrived with the Duke of Edinburgh, the distinguished gathering was complete and the President escorted his guests in to dinner. One of the highlights of the British flat racing calendar is the Derby, a race run annually at Epsom just outside London. The President was the guest of the Queen and the day, full of colour and excitement, made a fitting climax to this busy and popular visit. they're off.
Here comes the winner, and it's the favorite. So the visit drew to a close. The president will take home with him memories of the affectionate welcome given him by the British people. And Britain will long remember the friendliness and dignity of this great soldier statesman. Her most welcome guest, President Aboud of the Sudan. <laughs>